basically what what I'm going to teach you first is how to measure body because that's the base thing that you should know in order for you to make a pattern okay so let me just get my there. Do you see it? Yes, we can see it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, first, yes, sir. Um, yes, we have sir. to measure the basic um, parts that we, we need to measure is the upper bus that's um, above your bus point, the bus the lower bus, the waist, okay? So that's for the body's measurement. So for the upper bus, for example, when it comes to gown, you need to, to get the flat measurement, meaning to say there's no allowance. So you have to get the exact measurement of your client, of your future client, okay? So here is the upper bus. Got it? And yes, here sir. is the bus. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Lower bus here. Below your bus. Okay. Okay, then yes. the waist. Okay. Okay. Additional measurement that we need is the shoulder. If you've noticed, the back, the back of your sh shoulder is, is not straight, it's low. So you need to slope it as, as well. Don't do this. It should be slow. Okay. Okay. You also need to get the, um, from the high end of your neck to your bus point. Oh. The bus point is the nipple point. Okay? okay. Then, as well as the nipple point to your waist, the conference of the neck. But I'll get I'll be teaching you a shortcut method later. Okay. Okay, sir. Those are the basic measurements that you need to get for a basic body's pattern. So any questions? No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Clear. Right. So now let's create a basic body's pattern. So with those information that I I told you, okay? So first, let's make a straight line. So this is the center fold, the center of your body, okay? So this is the shoulder area, the measurement. So first thing that you need to look, get is the shoulder. So my shoulder is 15. Okay? So divide 15 to 2. So that would be 7.5 inches. Yeah. So put your measurement, measuring feet here, then mark 7.5. So that's the first part. Got it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So the standard measurement of the neck yes, sir. is three inches for a close neck. Okay, so what you can do is from this point to point A, measure three inches, 
here and another three inches here. Sorry, sir, can you repeat once again? Okay, the standard measurement of a neck that we use is three inches for a closed neck. Or that if you want a closed neck design. Okay. Okay. So from point A, except for upper point A, um, measure three inches. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, sir. Measure three inches. Three inches. So now get your bench curve. So this one. Okay. So this point, point B and point C, connect those two with a curved line. B is also three inches down. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Next is this, this point B is also three inches down. Next is the slope of the shoulder. Another technique that we, we use to get the slope of the shoulder is get a straight ruler, put it on the top portion of the of your neck. Okay, then measure it. From the the, the ruler to the shoulder. Okay. okay, but another sir. technique that we use, that we do, is automatic 1.5 inches. Okay. Okay. So from the from this point, from D, which is the shoulder, go down 1.5. Okay. Then. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Next this would be point E. Then connect point C and E. So that would be your shoulder. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. okay. The next thing that we need is the bust area. So remember, we've measured from the high point of your shoulder here to the bus, to the bus point, to the nipple point. Here is nine inches. Got it? Okay. Okay. Then. So from point A, measure nine inches as well as here. Then connect the two points. There. Okay. Next is the waist. From the high point of your shoulder to the bus point, then hold it here then go down to the waist. So this, the tape measure should touch the... the so, so, natural vest or uh, lowest, which one? Clear. So again, from the high point of Sorry. the finger, the bus point, uh -huh. then to the waist. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, so my, sir. what I'm getting here is 16 inches. So here, from point A, go down till six inches, and as well as here, so that you can get your waist. Then connect the two points.
there. So we already have the shoulder, the bus, mm. and the waistline. But we don't have yet the measurement. Okay. So next thing that we will be doing, we will be getting the bus point measurement. Okay. Bus point measurement is standard is seven. That's the standard measurement of a bus point. Okay. So it really depends on um, with your client if your client is a little bit bigger, so it will change. Okay, but here it's seven inches divided into two because you're getting the measurement of your body. Seven divided into two, that would be 3.5. Okay, sir. So from your bus point here, Measure 3.5. Put mark. Okay. As well as on the yes, uh, 3.5. So 3.5 here on the bus yes, uh, line and 3.5 here on the waist line. Then connect the two mark, two points. Okay. So, of course, our body is not straight, so we need to put a dart so that you can have a fitted bodies. Okay? Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Everybody, on your bus, on your waistline, on the 3.5 mark, measure here, 0.5 here, and another 0.5. Centimeters. Okay. Bus point line. Then this is the waist. So from this line, um, measure 0.5 centimeters each side. Okay. Then on the bus oh. point, go down one inches. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. So again, so we've measured seven inches for the bus point. Divided into two. So we put 3.5 here on the bus point. And we've measured 3.5 here. Point as well. Then after that, we measured half inch here and a half inch here. Take a mark. Then, from the bus point, go down one inch. Then, connect this line. That would be your dart. Okay. Okay. Sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. We're finished with the dart here. So now let's get the measurement of the waist, uh, the waist and the bus. For the bus, my measurement here is. Thirty-four. Okay. So we're getting. Okay. 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 So if your bus is 36 divided into 4, if your bus is 40 divided into 4, you get the one-fourth of the bus measurement. 
So minus 34, so divided by 4, that would be 8.5. So from the bus line here, measure 8.5. There. Okay. Then for the yes, sir. Yes, sir. I have here twenty five. So same thing divided divided into four, or let's make it twenty six. Twenty six divided by four. So that would be 6.5. So if the waist is 30 divided into 4, you'll get the one fourth of the waist measurement. So minus 26 divided by 2, 4. So from the waist point, measure 6.5. Here. Okay. Okay. Sir. Then remember we we deducted yes, one inch from sure. the darts. So we have one inch here. So add one inch from the six point from the measurement that you have. There. So okay, that we can the we can return the one inch dart measurement to the waist. Because this would be fold, folded or mm -hmm. cut. So we need to, to return back the one inch dart measurement. Okay? So again, okay, sir. the original okay, is 6.5 plus one inches darts. So it will be 7.5. Then connect the two. There. Okay. Okay, sir. We're done with the waist, the bust, the shoulder. Now we will be getting the armhole. Okay. For the front armhole, from the slope point E until the bus. Yes, sir. Okay. Get one half of it. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. Sir. Then make a parallel line, a little line only. There. Okay. Then from this point, go up one inches. Just one inch. There. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And from this line that we did, measure one half inch there got it yes sir so now we will connect this line this one this one and this one using a french curve okay Then extend this one. So that would be your basic body spatter or front body spatter. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Any question? No, sir. Okay. No, sir. So this is the pattern for a t-shirt type. What if you want uh, structured bodies? Okay. So we have what we call the sweetheart cut. Yes, sir. Okay. So from this point, you can actually make a line. Using your French curve again, so French curve is very important, okay? From the bus point, connect this two lines. 
Okay. Okay. So without this, this would only be this whenever you saw it, this would be just folded then the saw or a dart. But if you want a structured bodies, this part. will be cut and this as well. So you'll use, use sew, sew this so that you can have a sweetheart neckline or a sweetheart cut. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Yes, sir. yes, sir. Another one, another option is if you want to cut from the shoulder. Okay, so get half of your shoulder measurement here. For example, this we did we did not put this one. Okay, then connect. There's two points from the bus point to the half shoulder. Okay, sir. So this part is one part and another part. So this one and this one. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, so sir. This is basic yes, sir. Yes? Got it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, for example, you want a deeper neckline. Okay. What you can do is get the bus depth. For example, you want it until here. So, okay. measure it. It's nine inches. Okay. Okay. Sir. So measure nine inches here, and in this area, go here. Then change the neckline design. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The front, yes, sir. front bodies. Done. Now let's go on the back. So for the back pattern, just extend this line. The shoulder. The weight. The bus. And the waist. Okay. Got it? Yes, sir. Then move here. So this would be your deeper line. There. So this is your zipper line. Okay. Same thing that we did on the front bodies, you need to get the shoulder. So again, that would be your shoulder measurement from the zipper line until the shoulder measurement. Then connect those two. get the um, bus measurement from this point. So ours is 8.5 from here to here, 8.5. Then the waist plus the one inch darts. So 
hour is 7.5. there. Get the bus point distance, which is 3.5. 3.5 here. Another 3.5 here. Connect those two. Of course, the back should have a darts as well. So put one inch half inch each side. Then from the bus line here, go up one inches. If in the in the front body part we, we went down one inches, at the back part we need to go up one inch for the dart. Okay, sir. Then connect. both points. So this would be your dart for your back portion. Okay. Then connect the waist measurement to the bust measurement. There. Same thing. We need to go down one and a half inch for the slope. Okay. Okay, sir. For the back neck, so this is three inches, right? So you need, need to measure three inches as well. Then one inch here. Because okay. so the back neck is higher than the front neck. Then connect this with the French curve. Or you can just make a curve here. One. Then connect the one one half inch shoulder slope. Okay. Then measure the bus. Okay. Go up one inches. Then for the back um armhole. This is straight. Remember, the front is curved because the front is more cur curvier than the back. So this one is straight. Just connect this point to this point with a French curve. Just eye it. Yeah. Okay. You got it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's the basic back pattern with the darts. But if you want it with a more structured um, structured design, same thing, get half measurement of your shoulder, same uh, measurement as here. Then connect this two. So that you'll have a princess cut. Okay? Yes, sir. Right? If you don't like the princess cut, you can as well get half of the shoulder. Then connect the human. So that you can actually have a more structured bodice. Okay. Okay. okay, sir. So did everybody got the this draft? So question. No question, sir. No, sir. No question. Okay. No, sir. No, sir. Okay. So this is the basic bodies pattern making, you can actually, um, it, it's really up to you if you ever you want to change it. For example, you want a much higher neckline. You can just move this here, then change the neck, the armhole design. If you want it, um, your bust 
um, debt to be much lower, you can actually alter it. As long as you know how to make a basic body pattern, you're good to go. It's, it's really up to your design. Okay, sir. Okay. okay. Now let's work on the skirt. So let's make a basic pencil cut skirt. Let's do the front first. So make a parallel line again. So this will be your center, front center. Make a horizontal. So this would be your waist. Okay. 